Told you. First time using it. Okay. It's fixed. Kind of. That's kind of thick on the inner corner. But you don't have to use liquid liner. You can use any kind of liner you want. Um, now I'm going to take an angled brush. And I'm going to use the Rimmel Black, I guess. I don't know. It's called Smoky Noir 001. So I'm just going to take some of this and I'm just going to lay it right on the on the waterline. It's just eyeshadow. And I'm just going to lay it right on the waterline. I don't want to use the liquid liner on my waterline because it's really not good for your eyes. It's really not good to put anything on your waterline, but who cares, right? No, that's bad to say. Who cares? Now that I got that, I'm going to take this again, my liquid eyeliner, and I'm just going to go right underneath it, and oh my gosh, that was horrible. I so need to go back and fix that. It's like it works perfectly when I'm not on camera, but then like as soon as I get on camera, they're like, ah, I'm going to mess up. Okay, that's why it's always good to have Q-tips lying around. Now it looks really bad, and people are like, I don't know if I want to do that. It's it's my first time with liquid liner, so, I mean, give me a break here, people. Like, my other one looks good. It, like, my other eye looks good. My eyeshadow and everything looks good. It's just first time playing with liquid liner. I just bought it last night because I am experimenting with it. I just bought a cheap one for not cheap, an inexpensive one, NYC liquid liner, which, I mean, it was a dollar forty-two or something like that. Anyways, now I'm going to take a little bit of the dark, oh, excuse me, the dark green, tap off any excess there might be, because this one you have to be careful. Not really. You're just going to lay it right along underneath the liquid liner. I didn't get enough. Right along the edge. See? And instead of going next to the light green, we're just going to go straight to the pink. Because then it's just kind of like too much color on the bottom. Next, I'm going to do my eyelashes. I'm just going to curl them. I pump it like one, two, three, just to give it a little extra oomph. And I'm actually using Sexy Curves by Rimmel London. This is a really good one. I just bought this last night. If you are a follower on my Twitter, you'll know. I like did my hair today with all my brand new products that I just bought at Target, which is very affordable for everyone, and it makes you look bomb. Okay, so there's that, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom. I know a lot of people don't do uh, their bottom lashes, and a lot of the time they don't do their mascara on here, just because it takes so long, but I can do mine pretty quick. So. anything? No. So that is the watermelon, I guess, watermelon summer look. Bye!